The pressure is on, and opening game nerves can often take hold. Match day one for these two nations here at the 2024 UEFA European Championship. Who will be first to make their mark on the group? Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And excited to be bringing you match day one action at the Euros. It's Portugal, and they take on Georgia. Well, it's vital that you don't have an off day in these group games. Consistency is key to progressing further in the tournament. I'm looking forward to a hard-fought contest here today, Derek. Otan Kakabadze. How about the cross? Look as though there might be a threat, but not so in the end. Good defending. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Vitor Ferreira in central midfield. And leading the line today is Cristiano Ronaldo. Running with the ball confidently. And let's give credit to the defending. A look at the opposition starting lineup today. Well, they're starting in a very solid 4 5 1, but they transition really quickly, and key to that are the wide players. They'll support the centre forward as soon as they win the ball back, and they usually do it with a lot of quality. And players waiting in the centre. Fernandes to take the lead. Fine goalkeeping to push that away. Well, I'm not sure about you, Stuart, but I always think it's fascinating to dissect Portugal ahead of a big international tournament. Euro winners back in 2016, beaten finalists in 2004 when they lost against Greece. How about this incarnation of Portugal? How well equipped might they be to win it all? Well, what I like about Portugal is they've got attacking quality all over the front area. When they do get the ball into the final third, they get crosses into the box, they've got players that can attack it, but they're also good defensively. They're well organised, they're difficult to beat, so I think they can have a very good tournament here. Fernando Silva. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Levan Schengelia. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle, and the referee has got to book him, I think. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Could play it in. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. Bruno Fernandes has it. It's with Joao Cancelo. Bernardo Silva. Cristiano Ronaldo. Back to Fernandes. And he's found a bit of daylight. Oh, good work by the keeper. <laughs> Elects to go short. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Being pressed and pressed high. Can they nudge in front? Could cross it in here. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? And lining it up. 
Well, just centimetres away, narrowly wide. Yeah, but the goalkeeper had it covered, no doubt about that. I think he would have saved it. Joao Cancelo. Bruno Fernandes has it. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. It's going to be a throw in for Portugal here. The first half here comes to an end. Well, quite frankly, it's been a struggle for Cristiano Ronaldo, not having anything like the impact we would expect from a player of his calibre, Stuart. Well, I wouldn't say he's pulled up any trees today. He just hasn't affected the game. He's looked slightly off the pace, both with... Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Leal must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied, and they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. Going short. Plays it back. Great defending. Leal, not covering up defensively. So following the deflection, a corner kick. short corner Cancelo Leal he might yet finish Ronaldo good patient build up as they try to fashion something element of risk there but he's won the ball Leal. Oh, this is looking promising. And still trying to get the shot off. Cuts it back. And a chance for the lead. It's opened up for him. A goal! The opening statement of the match. A richly deserved lead. And now they can celebrate. Well, here it is again, and just look how he creates this chance. That's so inventive. And I have to say, the finish from Ronaldo is just brilliant. He's such a good technician. It's a wonderful goal. So, underway again here. one nil the score. Kiteshvili. Kocharashvili. Georgi Chakvetadze. Palmed away by the keeper. Vitor Ferreira. And that was a very fine read. And the defenders know they need to get tighter. He read the situation defensively and did his job. We have 20 minutes left in this game. Ronaldo. On to Silva. Considerable momentum, courtesy of Ronaldo. But what can he produce from here? 
looking for the final pass that will open things up. Can he finish this? He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Kakabadze. Attack carried promise, but petered out. Just ten minutes remaining here. Can they fashion something? They need a goal. Georgi Chakvetadze. Chance to play it in. on the flank and a throw in forthcoming well they've decided to make a change options in the middle oh a vital interception Getting it forward, but they need an equaliser. And the final whistle here. A real sense of feel-good in the Portuguese camp on the back of this victory, Stuart. Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team and they deserve their victory. Well, we're focusing on Cristiano Ronaldo for a reason, Stuart. Fair to say, he's been at his brilliant best. Well, he was excellent today, and he gave them that all-important lead. They just struggled to cope with him. His movement was so clever.